we last spoke to Tim when we were in person in Nashville for an amazing NFL draft. That was remarkable that week. And uh, the Grammy Award winning recording artist with a new album here on Earth, which is available everywhere right now as it was released last week, is back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Tim? I'm doing well. How are you, man? I'm telling you, I'm not just saying that because you were on the phone. I have said it with you not being on the phone. (laughs) That week in Nashville was amazing. And if the draft is, in fact, going to be like the Super Bowl where you have certain cities like New Orleans and South Florida, now maybe Los Angeles on a rotation that every now and then they've got to get it. Nashville, if the draft is like that, has to get it every now and then. I agree. I think it was it was so much fun. You know, I remember watching the draft in Philly. I think it was maybe two years before that. Yep. And uh, I called my manager right away. I said, look, we have to get get everybody on the phone and try to get this thing to Nashville because I think we could do it really do it well with some music and do it downtown and boy it really turned out great it was um it was fun to be involved with it from the beginning and and work on getting it there and and just to see how well it turned out and how well the city handled it it was it was it was pretty it was pretty spectacular we I tell you that was one of the funnest concerts I've ever had in my life out there doing that I wonder what it was like I because I, I, I know we're from my position because you know that was the if I'm not mistaken because it feels like it's a, a million years ago not just a year and a half yeah. but uh, I think it was the Friday night uh, of the draft the second night of the draft where as soon as it was over you came out and you performed yeah and uh i I was sitting on my set you know off to the side of the stage and just i couldn't see all the way um down broadway i couldn't see the entire what was it like from your perspective it was incredible because it was just i mean a sea of people that were just completely packed in and i mean in all the you know all of down uh, broadway as you know has has all those bars and all the neon lights and and neon signs and all the balconies and everything along the road and they were just completely packed and full of people all the way up to Bridgestone Arena which is which is way up Broadway and I mean it was it was pretty spectacular I mean and and I had we the band and I both when we came out we had so much energy and we were so proud of our city and proud of the way everybody handled it and uh, it was just, it, we were proud to be a part of it, you know, because we're all, huge, of course, huge football fans. And, and to be a part of it and be asked to go out there and do a show and, and do it in our hometown and do it under those circumstances and, and that many people to turn out, it was, it was, um, it was pretty cool. I, I, like you say, I hope, hope we can do it again. I, uh, I, I've talked to Mr. Mr. Goodell yes stage and i said well now next we have to get the super bowl in nashville what'd he say <laughs> he, he said well we'll we'll have to see about that well i'll tell you what tim uh this nashville almost made it to the super bowl uh, exactly right <laughs> the other way around almost actually happened that oh my gosh De- derrick henry uh just watching him run is truly one of the most remarkable things what was that watching that run for the titans like for you and uh, your wife and oh, everybody tim incredible i mean he's a beast you know and it, it just uh it, it's you know to, to be in nashville I, you know faith moved to nashville in 1987 mm-hmm. i moved to nashville in 1989 and it was still pretty much a small town and when when it just started it's, it's just been growing exponentially you know ever since and and then to have a football team and have a hockey team i mean it, it's just it's incredible to see how well they they've both done and and how how big the fan base has grown and how supportive our community is of, of those franchises. So I, I just think it's pretty pretty incredible to watch and to be a part of and and to say that you know we have we have teams that are competitive and 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 and, and have players that are spectacular to watch and and you know there's always a shot and that's a pretty good feeling when when you're when you have a team in your hometown that's tim, like that tim mcgraw here on the rich eisen show new album here on earth which we'll talk about in a second i don't know if we mentioned to you when we did see you that friday of the draft that uh the rich eisen show crew including me we went karaoke oh boy a couple nights before where did we go chris we went to santa's pub santa's pub uh, yeah uh-huh. You know, your reaction being, oh, boy. Um, well, I'm just curious how it went. Well, um, we you were great, Tim. I mean, come on. <laughs> let's be honest. Hold on a second. So you did not hear how it went. <laughs> yeah. No, That's... I didn't hear how it went. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, I have a certain timber, if I may, um, in my voice, that uh, Sinatra is my bailiwick. Oh, there you go. Okay. And That's I... tall cotton right there. <laughs> 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 yes, it is. Uh, but I, I, I... I mean, I wouldn't compare myself to Sinatra under any circumstances. Well, I don't... I could, I'm... I'm I, Am I comparing myself to him? I could. I mean, sort of, sort of. I just kind of did. Uh, my version of that's life, I would put up against anybody's. Oh, I have to hear it then. I have to hear it. Well, I, um, maybe there's, you know, in this day and age, you know, everything's recorded. So we, someone has it somewhere. Oh, we've well, got the video we, somewhere. Oh, okay. it, it, it is yeah. actually on the phone of we, my son. This it. is the problem of having a social media uh, coordinator who's excellent. He actually has it. The problem is we don't have the rights to play it, and I don't want to bankrupt our entire budget for this moment. Uh, it could be slipped moment. into Instagram, maybe. It could be. It's all potential. Uh, yeah, all you don't I, want to go up against the Sinatra estate. But he, all I'm saying is it's not just for me, Tim, uh, the song. It's also the way it, I end. And um, when I when I sing uh, my way, oh boy, that's I, a good one. I I do that's life. It's a crowd pleaser. And then my way, <laughs> what I do is at the end, you know, I took the blows, I did it my way, and I nail it, and take the microphone and throw it on the floor, <laughs> and walk out, oh like boy. literally walk out. But then you know, at the end, Sinatra goes low and ends it very, you know, calmly. I come back in and finish the song. I'm a showman is basically what I'm saying well, to you, Tim. That, that, that's what you have. You have to have a good beginning, a high point in the middle, yep. and a great ending. <laughs> you know, all the stuff that happens in between, trust me, I have, I have trouble staying on pitch all the way through a song. So, so if you could just start well, hit the high point in the middle and end well, then you're doing what you're doing pretty damn good. Thank you. <laughs> See, I knew I was on to something, and now I've gotten Tim McGraw to actually approve my, yeah. my, my showmanship. Tell me about this album. It's your 16th studio album, Tim, here on Earth, and it's your first solo album in five years, a hell of a cover that we're showing right here from Big Machine Records. I give you the floor on this. Yeah, you know, it's uh, – thank you. It, it's been a project we've been working on for – Two and a half years or so, something like that. We started working on, you know, I had Faith and I did our, our Soul to Soul tour for a couple of years. And we also recorded our very first duets album during that time. And I started recording this album toward the end of our last leg of the Soul to Soul tour. And for a couple of reasons, I started finding some songs that were starting to form sort of a narrative for me. What mm -hmm. I wanted to do, a, a big picture of life that dove, you know, thir sort of a 30,000 foot view of life. And then that dove down every now and then into some really intimate moments about relationships and what goes on in your head and what goes on in your heart during relationships. And um, But the second reason is because I found through the years that every time I spend a lot of time working with my wife, because she's, in my opinion, one of the greatest singers on the planet, it, it makes me better because I'm sort of like a, a NASCAR trying to keep up with an Indy car when I'm <laughs> on stage with her. And if I don't if I don't stay pretty close to pitch and pretty close on my game and try to keep and keep up with her, I get that look across stages. Oh, like, you don't want that. Like, son, we're going to have words after this show. <laughs> so I try my best not to get that look. But I, but really, I always find that I'm a way better voice than I'm typically you know, after I've worked with her. So I wanted to take advantage of that while we were still working together to start an album. And, and it really is, you know, after 16 albums, it, it really is probably my favorite piece of work that I've, I've done my entire career. I think it's my favorite collection of songs. We really took, we recorded it all on, on, you know, the old way, the analog way, and then transferred it over to the digital. So it's got a really unique warmth to it. So it, it's, um, it's something that has a really special feel to it to me. And again, it's it's uh, where all albums uh, can be uh, acquired. It's every available everywhere right now. What about um, you know post pandemic? Obviously, about acting, sir. Um, about you getting it back in front of uh, and getting on a silver screen. Is there anything from your acting career that you're particularly proud of? Oh gosh, uh, right here. I, I've you know I've, I've tried tried to throughout my career. I mean, I don't you know I haven't done a well, I've done I guess ten films or so, but um. You know, it's hard for me because to find something that you like, that, that, that narratively you like, um, and then to find something that's being done or the time that you have to work 
and finding something that they actually want you for. All three of those things have to come together, so it's, it's tough to find projects. Um, but, gosh, I, I'll have to go back to, you know, one of my favorites, Friday Night Lights. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I still loved that movie, and, and it was really my first sort of big movie. I did, had done Flicka right before that, and mm-hmm. then I'd done a movie called Black Cloud. was really my first thing. But Friday Night Lights was really the first one that I really, really got a chance to, to – play a character that, that I could identify with. You know, growing up in Louisiana and growing up playing football and, and baseball and basketball, you know, that guy was a combination of a lot of guys that I saw and knew <laughs> playing ball. And, and, and uh, it was something I could really relate to. And then working with Pete Berg and Garrett Hedlund, who's still a great friend of mine, and Billy Bob Thornton, mm-hmm. who's still a great friend of mine. I mean, I was just thrown into the middle of a a lot of great actors who and it's like playing tennis or something with somebody you know you play to the level of the people that you're that you're playing playing with and and i was lucky and have been lucky throughout my career to to be able to be on screen with some really great actors who have always learned from yeah them. we've had billy bob on this show and he, i i love him he's yeah. great and he uh, didn't he have some baseball in him like he he had some he he had cardinals he's well a cardinals fan but i think he tried he tried to he he was on pace to try and become a major leaguer but he got hurt or something yeah, like yeah. that i believe he was a pitcher right. if i'm not mistaken yeah i think he had a pretty good little career going right um, i think he'd make the right choice yeah, he so. <laughs> <laughs> well when you got oscar on your shelf that yeah, yeah, uh, that, that, sure. that kind of helps and, and you know obviously i think you did too um, i tell you i tell you what though if you if you look back i mean there's on on the dvd when 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 Friday on lights come out there was some um extra stuff on there like you know, in between scenes and us talking and playing around, there was a scene where we had had some ball players who were part of the part of the cast who were playing ball when during the football scenes, and I had cowboy boots on and Billy Bob, and I went was going to be quarterback and I was going to be wide receiver, and I did a fly pattern against one of the cornerbacks who was a real ball player that was out there, and Billy Bob hit me at about a 40 yard pass that I one handed caught. So you got to go back and check that out because right. I, I beat the kid. <laughs> Who was a player in cleats and pads, and I had cowboy boots on, and I beat him and made the, made the catch. Did so, you high step in the cowboy boots too? I, well, I didn't high step. I was just I was out of breath. But <laughs> <laughs> well, again, speaking of out of breath, my performance of uh, of uh, Sinatra, we're going to put on my Instagram stories. We're going to tag you at the Tim McGraw. Check it out, and uh, you know uh, if you want to respond in any way, shape, or form about a. Um, a critique. I'm I'm wide open. Oh, I just want to get better. I just want to get better. I'll yeah. I'll respond for okay. sure. <laughs> Sounds good. Tim, thanks again. Always enjoy our chats. Um and uh congrats on the new album. Thank you, man. It's good to talk to you. Right back at you. At the the Tim McGraw on Twitter and Instagram and check out Here on Earth, where all music can be acquired, available everywhere now. You like that video? Of course you did. Check out more right here.